Today in the Toyverse, dudes, Hulkamaniac goes black and white, man, as we review the Ringside Collectibles, dude. Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure by Storm Collectibles, man, paid for by the New World Order, brother. <laughs> all right, all right. I had to get that out of me. I thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Like I said, Storm Collectibles alongside with Ringside Collectibles, a lot of collectibles there, has released a Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure. Hulk Hogan, a man of controversy over the last several years, but his action figure does have his own set of controversy. But I will say this, overall from an aesthetic standpoint, I do like the way this figure looks. He does have some problems, which I will discuss, but he is definitely a step up in terms of Hulk Hogan action figures. I dare say he may be the best Hulk Hogan action figure ever produced, or at least, actually, let me take that back, the most articulated Hulk Hogan action figure WWE fans have ever gotten. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and break down Sculpt. And let's bring the Huckster in here for a moment. And let's look at that head scan. I'm not sure if this is a part of face scanning technology or Sculpt. Whatever the process is, it does look fantastic. Is it super spot on? I don't think so, but the likeness is there. You can definitely tell this is Hulk Hogan. If it's NWO Hulk Hogan or not, in terms of just the actual face itself, yes, he's got the stubble, which is nicely done. Beautiful looking teeth, great looking mustache, uh, beautiful half head of hair, if you will. But I don't know if it's super spot on, but it's definitely good enough. And in terms of the upper body, look at those muscles. He's got muscles. Hogan must pose. Very nice. Very great detail here on the muscles. Appreciate that. You got the wrist tape here. You got the gloves. And as we go down to the belt, we got the Hollywood Hogan logo here. No NWO in it. Unfortunately, that's WWE owned. But we got the tights looking very nice, and we got these nice, shiny, glossy boots, which I can really appreciate. So, like I said, aesthetically pleasing. It's catching to the eye. Once you see him on with accessories, he's going to look even more fantastic, folks. Believe me, he's going to be huge. But let's go ahead and go over articulation. In terms of the head, Hulk Hogan can sort of look up. And he can look down. Head can pivot side to side. And it can do that 360 exorcist thing. But be careful as the hair is a harder material. And in terms of the upper body, he does have a diaphragm joint that allows him to look down that much. And look back. Well, it popped off, but... That much, and let's take the belt off here. And the lower body, now this is a point of contention with me. Without the belt on, you just got this floaty piece right here. It's almost a diaper, similar to NECA, but there's nothing inside. It's just connected by a ball peg, and you can see the leg pegs right there. It's kind of frustrating, very, like I said, nothing in there. It does kind of take away from the figure. That's probably my first major gripe, if, if I'm just being honest. But it's not a deal breaker. It is annoying, but it's not a deal breaker. They go back up to the upper body. The arms can go out that much. They can go back down that much. They can do a full 360. He does have a bicep cut right here. Double jointed elbows, which you will not find on a Mattel figure. And um, he's got a ball peg at the hand here that allows rotation and up and down movement. And he's got a butterfly joint to get those beautiful Hulk Hogan-like poses. So very nice in that regard. And the diaphragm joint allows you side-to-side -side action. And uh, the waist does rotate, although it looks ugly as hell. 
Um, in terms of the lower body, like I said, Hogan can do the splits, but it it looks like Kaka. Kaka. Now you put it back in place. Doesn't look so bad. Uh, like I said, annoyance. He does have a thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Uh, no boot cut, but he does have ankle pivot. It goes up and down. And you do get a toe joint. Same thing on the other side. So that's going to go ahead and cover articulation. Let's go ahead and talk accessories. And in terms of accessories, Storm Collectibles has packed quite a bit. Now, you do get a pair of fisted hands. You do get the Hollywood Hogan uh, bandana, like skull cap thing. Uh, done very nice. Fits over the head. Let's just let me put Hogan back in here for a moment so you can see that. Stays nice in place. Does definitely help to the look of Hulk Hogan, if you will. You also get a Hollywood Hulk Hogan stand that just says Hollywood Hogan. You do get the Hollywood Hogan shirt, because after all, Hollywood rules. The shirt's okay. It does have the rips in the back, if you can see that. Nope, not really. Let's see here. does have the rips in the back. The material is nice enough, but it does look a little bit cheap, I won't lie. Uh, you do get a pair of shades for the Huckster and the Silver Cross. And let's go to the belt. This is my biggest point of contention. The belt looks very nice, like I said. Um, camera won't focus, but... I wish the belt buckle was painted. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It's just a personal preference. But the dang belt is easy to close... Without the figure, without I say that it's easy to close, and then it's not. So it can be a bit tricky to close. Let me take this off camera here. But the belt will close, as you can see. But putting it on this guy is nothing but a feat of amazement if done right. I've had nothing but problems with it. I spent all night messing with the belt. Finally, I, I, I've just given up. So that is a bit of annoyance. I hope, I mean, I don't know if they're going to even make more Hulk Hogan figures, to be quite honest with you. But, I mean, it would have been nice if the belt would fit a little better is basically what I'm complaining about. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison and call this video a day. Oh, I lied to you. We got boas. Very fluffy. This is the last accessory. Um, they're okay. Um, I have a feeling over time they're probably going to frill away. So I'm going to just probably keep them stored away. But you do get boas, black and white. They do look nice. It's just, eh, I'm just kind of over it. All right, folks, size comparison time. On the left side of your screen, you have the Mattel Hulk Hogan figure, the second one released, I believe. And on the left side, we have a Diamond Select Gotham Series Alfred figure. And in the middle, we have Hulk Hogan. So the million-dollar question, does this figure fit in with Mattel Elites? Absolutely. Is he worth the purchase? Well, that depends on how big of a Hulk Hogan fan you are. I picked this up more out of curiosity than anything else. I wanted to see how the articulation was, and, you know, I'm overall satisfied. I think if you want a Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure, or you collect NWO figures, or if you're just a Hulk Hogan fan, it is definitely worth the purchase. Um, the difference of $15 is amazing what a company can do with an action figure. And that's not a slight against Mattel. I know I'm pretty hard on them. But they did the best they could within their budget. So overall, no really super huge complaints. So that's going to do it for the show. Please check out UndercoverCapes.com to find all your geek podcasting needs. Everything from Marvel, DC, Indie, and everything in between. You like the background I used here? Go pick it up at Extreme. Dash sets.com. You won't regret it. These folks do a fine job of making great backgrounds to do toy ph photography, excuse me. And did I say toy photography? I absolutely did. On Instagram, go follow at Toy Lover Crew, delivering the best in toy photography, bar none. Use the hashtag Toy Lover Crew to feature your toy art 
And uh, you can follow me by checking out my social media links. They're all in the link in the description below. You know, all that fun stuff people say on the YouTube. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Share with a friend, share with a neighbor, share with an ex-convict. I really don't care. Or share with a fellow NWO. I, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, friends, I will say stay tuned at the end for the slideshow so you can see more of this figure in depth. And until next time, tally-ho.